sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <gasps> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's go looking for some traps.
Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah.
Good bird. We had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. <laughs> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. is a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Here we are.
Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scanned for all manner of signals which, in turn, reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long-forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto-Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, 
It will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after pouring over stories from the Grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the towering colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia.
Analyzing one's failures can prove instructive. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler?
terrible, but hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much.
Don't hold back. together. Unusual fiend activity nearby. 
to procure the biological data that we require. You'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck! Fiends roam this place. Rare move variants identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The ever vigilant move possesses an incredible memory, meaning that once you've trespassed on its territory, it can and will track you down in order to exact revenge. The Moo have a massive underground network through which they exchange information on food sources and predators. Frankly, it rivals the Chappie's own network. So don't you be deceived by their adorably twitchy tails and unassuming demeanor. Further analysis of these crafty creatures will no doubt shed light on their communication methods and maybe help us to improve ours as well.
absolutely incredible, Cloud. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal of this caliber before. To think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deiform entity. <laughs>